the Australian Army will receive 129 new Redback Infantry fighting vehicles in response to the country's changing strategic environment. The Australian government said Hanwha state-of-the-art Redbacks would be built at the company's facilities in the Geelong region. Supporting Australia's strategic imperative to develop sovereign defense manufacturing capabilities. At a cost of between $5 billion and $7 billion, the Land 400 Phase 3 project will be one of the largest capability acquisitions in the Army's history. Replacing the M113 armored personnel carriers, which were acquired in 1964, the first Redback will be delivered in early 2027. With its latest generation armor, cannon, and missiles, they will provide the protection, mobility, and firepower required to transport and protect soldiers in close combat, giving them the highest chance of achieving their mission and returning safely. The government said the acquisition was part of its drive to modernize the army to ensure it could respond to the land challenges in the region. The new vehicles will be delivered about the same time as the new HIMARS missile systems and landing craft. Reflecting the defense strategic reviews call for army to be transformed for literal maneuver operations from Australia. The government said it was providing the ADF with the capabilities it needed to defend Australia and protect national security. Minister for Defense Industry Pat Conroy said the government was committed to investing in the security of the nation and the safety of Australian soldiers.